Hello everyone, welcome back to Bayonetta Chapter 3 and we're underground. Yeah, lava tubes! Also, this is a very sneakily hidden thing that I didn't know was here until just recently, so... Yeah, always come back here, there's a chest with a moon pearl in it. At the start of every level, use your camera. Look around. Yeah, I, I literally didn't even think to look behind me when I first did this. The, the developers, yeah, sneaky people. If Skyrim has taught me anything, it is examine everything. Oh, good old Skyrim. I haven't played that in a long time. Hmm? I haven't played Skyrim in a long time. Besides, I I always find it cool that I could play it as an actual scaled individual and then be called the Dragonborn because it's like, well, duh, I'm a reptile. <laughs> Doesn't matter if you're a reptile, jeez, great God. All right, simple enough. So, uh, let's carry on. Did you ever get like made fun of for choosing the Argonian? No, I just chose. Ow. I just chose... <laughs> nice. Yeah. Uh, I just chose the Argonian because it was cool. I wasn't really bothered of like, oh, but you don't get this stat boost or whatever. It's like, fuck you. That's the whole point of being able to choose who you play as. No, I mean, not, not as far as just as of stats. Like, when I started playing it, like, I was telling my friends that I was chosen the Khajiit and they asked me if I was a closet furry. And I'm like, no. Yeah, that's what I mean. It was just like, lots of people was like, oh, why did you choose that one? It's like, because that's the one I thought was good. <laughs> I don't know. It just, it's a stupid reason. Just for the record, I would like to say that I have nothing against furries. Furries are awesome. I have many furry friends. Yay. Including the, your cats. They're furry friends. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I yes, made I have a joke. A, yes, I have a kitty cat, but I have nothing. They're, they're, they're so fun. They get ridiculed way too much on the internet. It's because they have a tendency to start drama, i found. Or at least they get susceptible to it way too easily, so I don't know. Every group's kind of like that. If they're really easy to wind up, then people are going to exploit that, so... Mm -hmm. Well, now that we have a cameo from Stargate, let's go in. Yes! It's like, what the fuck? Uh, this scenery does not go well with me at all. Did we just enter into a totally different game? Oh, it's all calm and nice now. And there's flowers! Can I kill this? I can't kill this, what's going on? Okay, um... Yeah, the second half of the record is here. As you Yay! said before, always use your camera. Mm-hmm. And that should get us the uh, weapon I could have used to do that, uh... Alfheim at the very beginning of this chapter. Yep. Here at Curse Scale Commentaries, we will... Uh, or in Curse Scale TV, even. <laughs> we're, we're a TV <laughs> show, damn it. <laughs> Uh, well, we only just became a TV show when people were able to hook up their iDevices to their PS3s, grudge. Jeez. So, blame them for not being with the times, man. <laughs> Didn't you pick the name? I don't, I don't know. It was so long ago. I don't even remember. <laughs> Shit. But what I was trying to say is that we here always want our gamers to, to find everything they have to in order to make the game awesome. That's what I was trying to say. Now, I should be okay with this one, because I can't activate Witch Time, but I've been, because I've been playing um, Infinite Climax so much recently, this should not be too hard. It's really weird not but seeing you dodge that and not seeing Witch Time activate. Yeah, believe me, it's like this all the time, and the enemies move a lot faster, and they do a lot more damage, and... The enemies that actually spawn are different. Like there's in like in the opening chapter in the graveyard on Infinite Climax and Hard Mode, um, after you kill the opening angels, then a uh, Grace and Glory spawn, which oh was, god, which I was not expecting at all. And I was like, what? Uh, like what the fuck? What are you doing here? It's like leave. Like you're not supposed to be here until like late, late, late in the game. Oh goody, more unfairness. I, I almost forgot I still had the chain ball then. Boink. Now, now please tell me this becomes the spinning wheel of death. I hope so. Oh yes. There we go. 
It's a very nice, it's a nice finisher to do that, just like, send them spinning off and exploding. Yes. Now, if I'm not mistaken, uh... Yeah, <laughs> the one that, the one time that I actually am a, a less of an advantage, I end up doing the best on. What? What? Uh. That's because you're an overgrown show-off who has to beat the entire damn game on pure platinum! Uh, I have- I've done it so far up until Chapter 5 and Climax so far. I just don't understand. Why do you have- feel the need to do this? I- I don't understand it. Just to prove that I can? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, don't get- I mean, it's- it's really difficult, and, you know, the amount of times I've had to restart an entire section just because I got hit once is ridiculous, but... You know what else I just realized? We're in Paradiso, and we're walking on water. Does that make us Jesus? Like, Dad, she's stealing my thunder! <laughs> oh god, why? <laughs> and, and, and she's carrying on like, please, I could steal far more than thunder. Also, witch heart here. I could steal that wine you made from water. I think Bayonetta could use a drink after all this stuff she's been going through. Absolutely, absolutely. Oh, sorry, was that like a favorite sculpture god? Oops. I just wanted the time turner thing. Wait, so that's how McGonagall gave Hermione the time turner? No, that's how McGonagall gave her it because she's a secret umber witch, and then she must have come across this and then used mm -hmm. magic to shrink it down. Huh. It, all, it all makes sense. <laughs> oh my god, my mind has been destroyed. <laughs> I love how we've connected Bayonetta to uh, Harry Potter and how awesome it would work in Soul Eater so far. I'm kind of curious as to what else we end up thinking it could mix with. <laughs> the galaxy. Oh. All we need right now is like a cameo appearance from the Great Clock right in the center. <laughs> oh, it's just because I told you not to use it as a time machine. <laughs> just like, if we didn't use it as a time machine, like, oh, it's a stupid little... I, just, I think Harvest would be one of those people who just sort of stop when he sees Bayonetta and just be like, oh, oh, my. <laughs> oh, oh, like, hello. <laughs> would you like to hear a joke? <laughs> it's like, you're not funny, dear. <laughs> oh, dear. It's like, you, you, just, you just gotta love Orvis, cause, just because he's endearing. He's so cute. <laughs> I mean, he has little cog wings! How can you say no to that? And, you know, he, he has Clank's laugh, so... That's well, always... Clank has his laugh since Orvis ha came first. Okay, now, I, in this one, I can only hurt them with Wicked Weaves. Oh, this should be fun. Yeah, I, I have a bad feeling I won't be able to do this one quite well. Well, Wicked Weaves with the handguns take a couple of button combos to do, and you have to make sure you have time to do them before the the angels actually hit you. Well, it's not just that, it's also because the fact they're not really that powerful, and they seem to be very... I mean, as you can see, I can hit them when they're in a row, but... They're very sort of... Fo the actual normal punch is, like, really focused towards only a few enemies at once. So... Yeah, struggling here. I don't know, this could go wrong. <laughs> We might be seeing our first ever Alfheim failure. Oh my god! I have to admit, though, the Wicked Weaves are really cool, though. Oh, of course, they're like one of the best elements of the entire game. I love them. I love how you kind of like sped up and you're running there for just a quick second. It's like, <laughs> yeah, I've, I've noticed that when you actually, um. Oh shit, that was close. Um, mm -hmm. if you, when you actually are in Witch Time, Bayonetta does move faster. Than she normally does, which is oh god! Oh god, not these things! Oh, oh, come on! You see, you see, these things are cheap. Cheap attack number two. First one is that damn roar. Yeah, and the second one is oh my! Here's a here's a pounce that we're not going to give you any time to react to, except for right there. <laughs> yeah, I I've, uh, the only time I've been able to do it quite well is just because I've gotten used to it. <laughs> I know these things are cheap. I don't think I'm. I don't think I'm going to be able to do it. Uh. No. Ow. Uh, yeah. yeah. This, this might need a restart. I think. Yeah, I think we might need a redo here. 
I'll, I'll keep trying, but I don't think I'm gonna do it. <laughs> if absolutely nothing else, there's no way you're gonna have time to actually just do all those- all these wussy little wicked weaves. Whoa. I might- I might be able to. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Come on. Whoa. <laughs> oh god. Get away from me, bitch! Whoa. Yeah, that's enough. Oh, I... If I'm really quick... Maybe. No. No. No, no, no. You're done. No, that's our first ever all time failure. I like how she kind of flipped out of screen like, fuck this shit. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm gonna break my own rules. Because usually when I do these challenges, the best way to do them is not to use the guns. And you'll be able to see that the sword... Or at least how it works. So I'm gonna break my own rules just for this once. And I'm going to kill all of them. Well, I mean, come on, man. I asked you- well, I asked you in the previous video to show this thing off. I mean, the thing you'll notice about this is that this thing has quite a wide range to it, so it can hit multiple ones at once. And not to mention it's also extremely powerful. Yep. It's like slice him and dice him! Nice and nice! I wonder what an angel kebab would taste like. Yeah, it's got such a wide range on it, it's it's gonna make things a lot- See, they're already out already. And I hit both. And you've already got like two minutes- you've still got like two minutes to go. Yeah, see, you can hit both of them with it because it's just so- It's so much better than just single punches. Yeah, not to mention you just knocked the helmet off that wall. Yeah, I think they're gonna die. Quite quickly. I see a couple of Yu Yu Hakusho references on these things. How so? Well, the he the helmet reminds oh. me of the Genkai tournament because one person had to was wearing that in order to see spirit energy, and then the rings on their uh, paws or legs, whatever the hell you call it, is uh, reminiscent of in the dark tournament. Oh, no, no, someone... no, 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 that's a roar! Oh, oh my god, that was amazing. That was awesome. What the fuck was that? Um, the uh, the moon of uh, of whatever it is, I can't remember, but the... oh, god, god. yeah, that thing. Subaba. Um. When- if you reflect or, <laughs> or, like, deflect against attack on, like, the exact frame, um, that it hits you, then not only does Bayonetta, um, send it back, but she also does a counter-attack if she's close enough, and it activates an extended witch time that lasts for a lot longer than normal. So that was, like, really rare. I didn't even think I'd be able to get to show it off. Very nice. Well, that's one help- that's that was probably Bayo wanting to show, like, okay, I'm going to make this look very cool now. Yeah, she just took control and was like, we need to end this with finesse, dear. Like, listen, Grudge, you're doing great, but let me show you a better way to end this. <laughs> oh, that, that oh. would be amazing. <laughs> oh, oh, God. Okay, now we can finally move forwards. Oh, my God. I also like to mention that that is made of wood and you're over lava. It's not a good combination. <laughs> at all. Ah, the bridge over lava. It's such like a classic video game thing, that isn't it? Just video nothing. game, movie, anything. Right, just, yeah. just a, a bridge over lava that looks really perilous. It's just, it's everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. Hidden that'll versus. That'll do, donkey. That'll do. Hidden verses are good. Right, where's oh, this? I didn't. I didn't know this was a hidden verse. When I first played this, I thought, oh god, they're just gonna stop me and the bridge is gonna collapse. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. Nope, that's a hidden one. It's the second one that you need to watch out for. It's just another there. That should be the last fight of this chapter. I think the rest of it should just be platforming now. Oh no! Oh my goodness! Oh well. Should be a straight up to the exit. Who the hell bu Who the hell built this? Um, well, the game does state that these ruins are supposed to be, like, really old, so... <laughs> maybe it didn't look like this at some point. Not the most graceful of landings, but it'll do. No, it would have truly been. Oh, God. This, these. 
lava streams. <laughs> Fun. They're not they're not even proper enemies and they still suck. At least they do the courtesy of telling you where they're gonna land. I was like, oh yes, by the way, I'm going to be here, so you might want to think about dodging me. Ah, there we go. Also there's a chest here. Witch heart. I, I do like how the environments in this game really are just that varied and insane. I mean, you go from city centers to underground lava tubes, it's crazy. And, of course, you get the moon and we're gonna walk up the lava. Because why not? There's nothing- there's something just inherently amazing about walking on walls. This thing is so totally reminds me of the Ratchet and Clank wherever you have to use his grind boots and get around or certain things. Or not grind boots, but grab boots. Oh yeah, there's plenty of those. <laughs> I can never remember. Oh, the moon's gone. We Damn. can't defy gravity anymore. Oh well, we're out of the lava tube, so what does it matter? Also, this is cheap as well. Like, why, why, like, I would never think to look there. It just looks as though it's a solid wall when you approach it. It's so cheap. Mm -hmm. That's life. <laughs> it's like... The best things are usually hidden from view. Indeed. I remember kind of looking over this and going, like, we kind of caused this. Uh, technically, it was 42, though. We pissed him off, though. Yeah, but then... Why would he, like, make the entire town explode just for me? That's a bit overkill. Oh. Yeah, I, I almost didn't see that. I like that. It's like, you just kind of grab it out of midair, tries to fly, it's like, DOINK! Uh, no! Bayonetta strikes me as someone who would have those sort of reflexes anyway. Just, yes. pff, ah! Uh, this is a coliseum. I foresee a boss battle soon! You would be correct! Alright! Here's the first boss of the game. Well, let's see how we do on this one. Yeah! Yeah! Pretty! You missed a verse somewhere. Yeah, that was the uh, alpha at the very beginning that I didn't choose to do. Ah, yes. Actually, while I can, since I haven't shown this before, um, I'm going to show you the mini game that happens after each chapter. Oh, this was annoying having to go through this each and every time. Essentially, it's kind of like a classic arcade shoot. You shoot angels, you get points. Like through the through the wonderful power of editing magic, we didn't have to like do this. Yeah, I usually just don't show it, but I just thought it'd be interesting to show how it works. I'm not that good at it. But... Headshot! D -d 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 Double headshot! And then with that, you can use your points to buy an extra item, or you can uh, exchange them for money. So, uh... With that, don't join us in the next video for the first boss of the game. Bye! Catch you later, guys.